UK schools teaching kids as young as 9 to 12 about anal sex and masturbation. No, God! Assalamu alaikum, how are you guys doing? So it turns out that perhaps your children could be well educated in anal sex and masturbation. As sickening as this sounds, it doesn't come to me as a surprise since, you know, the UK, US and basically the West would endorse such types of uh, morality because, I mean, you can consider them secular, atheist, liberal. The article says that school institutions in the United Kingdom have set specific lessons aimed at teaching students under the age of 15 about anal sex and orgasms, as well as assigning quote unquote masturbation as homework, mail online reports. What? It seems that the ABCs and 123s are a bit further back on the priority list. Many teachers are indoctrinating children with claims about biological sex, presenting gender as fluid, and advancing the narrative that people can be born in the wrong body. I mean, I really think to myself as to who's doing the interviews for these teachers. Like, I mean, perhaps you can say that the curriculum has one thing to do with it, but I mean, if a teacher is actively, uh, you know, accepting this type of uh, education or curriculum, then I mean, this is uh, troublesome. I mean, of course, liberals. It comes as the NHS is facing mass legal action from thousands of families who claim their children were rushed into taking life-changing puberty blockers. Of course, kids can vote. They can decide which candy they want from the candy store. And of course, if they want to take puberty blockers, let them decide to do that as well. Are you sure about that? Graphic teaching materials, including a sex manual for preteens, were discovered in classrooms across the UK. I already felt that fairy tale books were a bit problematic, but this takes things to a whole new level. A concerned mother was denied the right to see the content of the lessons being taught to her 15-year-old daughter in her relationships and sex education classes, which became mandatory three years ago. And now they want to deny the right uh, for the parent to see the content at which uh, they use this to educate the children. Um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. And of course, uh, if it were that this content was innocent, then of course, the um, this wouldn't be an issue. It would be accessible. It would be free to see. Um, but of course, there is... Uh, some malicious intent behind this and uh, it doesn't sit well with the majority. Now the article continues and concludes with the list of highly explicit topics that uh, include um, teaching that babies from birth to the age of one can experience pleasurable sensations by touching their genitals. 12 year old girls are taught how to achieve orgasm through various forms of self simulation and find sexual pleasure in anal, vaginal and oral sex. They are also taught that it is normal to experience sexual urges and engage uh, in masturbation even before reaching puberty. It is normal for prepubescent children to feel sexually attracted towards anyone. Now, the irony here for me is that a lot of these people within the same breath would criticize the marriage of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu to Aisha radiallahu anha, which uh, we all know that she was quite young when she married the Prophet Sallallahu um, And I mean, this, this comes with the fact that the Prophet Sallallahu actually went through a uh, an actual marriage, right, with the laws and guidances provided by um, uh, Islamic uh, jurisdiction, right, and nowhere in with the Islamic framework does it entails this type of indoctrination, this type of uh, explicit uh, sexual content and conduct, you know, um, and I mean, we are told by the West that they are the um, you know, the forerunners in advancement. But I mean, in their paradigm, this would mean that they're going backwards if it is that they want to criticize uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi So, I mean, look, the West and its whole liberal secular narrative is what's causing the, um, you know, their failures, their destruction. And it's, a, it's just unfortunate that, um, you know, there are innocent children being exposed to this being involved in this and of course their lives will definitely be uh, ruined by this Yo, tell me with this and alhamdulillah we have islam we have uh, the guidance the object of morality that will ensure that we don't fall into such a uh, facade you know and certainly our children will be protected by um by our resistance to this and I'm sure, of course, there are um, other denominations, other uh, religions that are fighting this battle. But, um, you know, Islam obviously has the best framework to tackle this. And I mean, a lot of uh, these even conservative Christians are admitting that Islam is more, quote unquote, based, you know, um, against these types of issues. So, inshallah, let's protect our children. Let's uh, uh, ensure that we protect ourselves and our uh, iman. Of course, we ask Allah's guidance and we ask Allah to uh, make it easy for us during these uh, troublesome times. Inshallah.
And on that note, guys, Jazakallah Khair for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, and if it is that you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe. Jazakallah Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.